All right, guys. I have the Jumper T Pro, and uh, as some of you know, it's got momentary switches on the shoulders out here. Instead of these are just momentaries. These are not on-off switches or two-position toggle switches. So I cheated. I'm coming from a Tango 2, so I really like the ability to use those as my arm switch, especially on the left side. Um, so the easy way to do it, that I found anyway, after three days of fumbling through it, is to set up logical switches for both of them. Um, I believe there's a couple other YouTubers out there that have showed a arm method where you can do a logical switch to tap both to arm. I'm not used to that. I uh, personally have used the Tango 2 for about a year now, and uh, I got used to this left hand button up here uh, being my arm switch, so I kind of have the muscle memory, and that's what I like being my arm and disarm. So what I did was I assigned this button here to be on, and then that creates your logical switch, so you can press this one, or you can press this one and have two separate functions. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just go into your menu and page over to the logical switches section and then you're going to set up in the first one. We're just going to edit this. Um, as you can see I have the first thing set to sticky and then switch one is this button right here. This on top you just press that and then you're going to go down to and switch and press whichever one you want to be the other half of it and you press that and then you go out of there and then we have to go down to the second one the logical switch 2 we're going to edit that that needs to be a sticky and then you're going to put for V1 and 2 you're going to put logical switch 1 and logical switch 1 in both of those and save that then for the other side button over here, I did the exact same thing. I have it as a sticky, and I have switch one, which is this guy right here. And then come down to and switch, and use this press push button over here. And then back out, and go down to logical switch four, and do the exact same thing that we did on the other one. We're going to set it to three and three. And then when you come out of there, you're going to go around to your your inputs and then down here I like it on channel 5 I have that one set as logical switch 1 which is this guy over here and you want to assign it as you can see that LO2 which is that one we set up that when it activates that's what it's going to be and the same thing for the other side we use that LO4 the logical switch 4 and then we're going to go to beta flight and I'll show you how they act in beta flight I know I'm not very professional just going to hold the camera so here's this one so it acts just like a on off And beta flight. Same thing with the other side. So that's how you do it. And uh, it's pretty simple, quick, fast, and dirty. Uh, I'm sure there's a better way out there, but this is what I found and uh, it uh, helped me out. Added a couple extra switches. Not sure why Jumper decided to put the momentaries on there, but um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, otherwise, pretty cool little radio, and um, hope this helps somebody. Spend a little less time on it than I did. I spent the last two or three days trying to get it figured out how I like it. Anyway, uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching.